Fruit flies are among the most damaging insect pests, attacking many types of fruit and vegetables. Unlike house flies that are black, fruit flies are reddish or yellowish. There are male and female fruit flies. The female fruit flies have something like a needle at the end of their anus. With this needle, they puncture the skin of fruit to inject their eggs, and you may see a tiny drop of fluid oozing. A few days later, the skin of the mango around the puncture becomes yellow, before turning brown and black. The fruit begins to rot and will drop. Before it is time to harvest, about half of the fruits may have gone bad and fallen. Any serious producer exporter who would not be careful, make sure his produce is free of fruit flies um, is only destroying his business. Many farmers waste a lot of money trying to control fruit flies with insecticide sprays. When you spray insecticides, the flies go away for some time because of the scent. But later, when the scent is no longer present, they come back. Fruit flies cause great losses to farmers, but also to traders who buy the fruit from them. When fruit has been infested just before harvest, you may not see the damage at first, only to notice a few days later that the fruit has started to rot. Fruit flies can fly from one orchard to another, so it's better that all people in a village control them. It's the knowledge I gain that I share with others. I could not call everybody. So I called one person per village and showed them the fruit flies and their damage. Everybody has to control the fruit flies in his orchard. If only one person does it, his orchard will give a good crop, but the flies will always come back. That is why we have to do it all together. Extension agents in Ghana use a fruit fly resource box that has all that is needed to show farmers and traders how to make their own traps to detect fruit flies. The box also contains cards and laminated photos to encourage people to think and talk about fruit flies. The extension staff always invite market women to join their training sessions because they notice that trained market women are more confident to buy only quality fruit from farmers. I will tell the farmer that if his farm is weedy and there are no traps in the trees, the mangoes are not good. I will tell him he should attend training and get knowledge on good agricultural practices on mango. To produce and sell quality fruit, we need to know how fruit flies live, how we can tell if they are present, and how to control them. There are different fruit flies, but all develop more or less in the same way. Fruit flies puncture the skin of many kinds of fruit and vegetables to lay their eggs. In one fruit, a fruit fly can lay up to 20 eggs at a time. As the skin of the fruit is punctured, germs enter and the fruit starts to rot. After two days, the eggs hatch into small white worms or maggots, which eat the inside of the fruit. The wormy fruit often falls to the ground, where the worms keep growing.
After one week, the worms leave the fruit and search for a place where the soil is soft enough for them to enter. In the top 10 centimeters of soil, they transform into hard brown cocoons. A week later, out of each cocoon, a fruit fly emerges from the soil and flies away in search of food. Within a few days, she will already start laying eggs in fruit. Depending on the type, a single fruit fly can lay a hundred to a thousand eggs during her life. So you can imagine the damage she can cause. Now that we know how fruit flies live, let's see how we can detect their presence. When fruit drops prematurely, this may be a sign. But fruit can also drop because of drought or other things. The best way to quickly know if you have fruit flies is by hanging traps in your orchard. To attract fruit flies, you can either use a food bait or pheromones. Food baits attract all type of fruit flies, male and female. Food baits attract fruit flies over short distances. Pheromones, on the other hand, are chemicals that smell like female flies. And this smell attracts the male flies only. Pheromones attract male fruit flies over a distance of 100 meters or more. The pheromones, methyl eugenol and terpenyl acetate, attract different types of fruit flies. Find out from your local agro dealer whether the pheromones he sells are pure or pre-mixed with an insecticide. To attract and kill the flies with such a product, you need to use traps to protect it from the rain. Instead of buying expensive traps, you can also make your own trap with plastic bottles. Hang at least two traps per hectare and one trap in any other place where fruit is kept. By regularly observing the traps, you will know when you need to start controlling fruit flies. We are trained how to hang the pheromone traps in our market stalls and where we store our mangoes, so that when the fruit flies enter the traps, they will not destroy our mangoes by laying their eggs in them. Because fruit is so easily damaged by fruit flies, a single strategy to kill them will never be enough. Once you've detected fruit flies, you can kill many of them by hanging many traps in your orchard. This method is called mass trapping. It's best done by all farmers in your village. Another strategy is to spray a bait pre-mixed with an insecticide on a spot of leaves of each tree. Any male and female fruit fly emerging from the soil under your trees will be attracted to the food and killed. Innovative farmers have developed bait stations to use even less bait and to protect it from the rain. While pheromones and fruit baits attract the fruit flies so you can kill them, you can also prevent the flies from laying their eggs in the fruit. Weaver ants that make their nests in trees help to control fruit flies. When red ants are on the trees, the fruit flies cannot settle on the fruits to pierce and lay their eggs into the fruits. Protect the red ants and other beneficial insects by not spraying your trees with insecticides. 
Apart from attracting and killing fruit flies or frightening them away with weaver ants, you can also prevent the maggots from developing into flies. When you find fruit flies in your traps, you know that they are present in your orchard. Collect any fallen fruit and bury it or feed it to the pigs to kill all worms. Be aware, fruit at the market can also be infested by fruit flies. So destroy rotten fruit at all times to avoid more damage. So what have we learned? Fruit flies inject their eggs in fruit. A single fruit fly can lay hundreds of eggs, which turn into white worms that eat the inside of fruit. If no action is taken, fruit flies quickly increase in numbers and can destroy your entire crop. Use traps to detect if fruit flies are present in your orchard. Always combine different methods. Place traps, use food baits, encourage weaver ants, and collect and destroy any fallen fruit. If you're not careful, by the end of the year, the money spent on chemicals and labor may all be in vain. Control of fruit flies is a must, is something that everyone needs to do, otherwise, no success anywhere, no commercial business for anybody.